Hi guys, welcome back to some Star Citizen. And uh, we're going to go drop bombs. I'm just looking to see if there's anyone there for the moment. But we are in the spirit. Sexy goddamn ship and I never put in my landing gear. Oh, it's a good looking ship. Yeah, this is the bomber variant, which is available now. Let me see if I can get some better lighting on the bottom. Where's the sun? There's the sun. So, if we switch over to a missile mode, you can see the bomb bays open up, and then the missile racks at the front. Which is pretty sweet. I've tested out the bombs. They're very cool. Expensive, but cool. Anyway. Uh oh, wrong button. I was having an issue, so I had to get rid of my client and shader file. So all my buttons have reset. We're not making that mistake with the cruise again. Yeah, pilot has four weapons. And then there is the turret in the back, and that looks to be on a rail, so I presume that can be... or that goes to the back when it's manned, I guess. Now we get out of orbit here. Should be good. So pop on out of the seat. Look at that. Yeah, nice view. Um, if that blue hologram wasn't there, I wouldn't mind. But we've got two beds. We can log out here. This cargo storage is there. Kitchenette. Uh, do these open? I think they do. A lot of these have uh, little smaller buttons on them. Here, that doesn't open. I think this is armor storage. I could be wrong, but I think it's armor storage. And then weapon rack here. Like three pistols, two rifles. Yeah. Uh, we have no life support gravity generator. Cool, cool, cool. We have a radar. Our avionics. So the engineering update coming soon, that'll be pretty cool. And of course, our bombs. They're like glide bombs, so they have these fins that pop out. Uh, we'll show them off in a bit, and then the back ramp. I suppose you can have a little bit of storage here. And then you have your coolers and other bits in here. Which will all become a bigger part later on. Anyway. do the thing also I'm presuming that you get into the turret from the co-pilot seat yeah enter remote turret lovely to the seat, lead pips. There we go. 
Oh, so it's under the tail. Yeah, so it goes in under the tail. Okay. Cool. Anyway. we we'll do what we came to do. So I've taken some of the um, execute warrants on the moons. Which should be a prime target for this. They pay 15,000 each, so more than one bomb. I think. A good looking ship. Very much looking forward to the, uh, the standard variant. Lady Aeon. An apt name. Hey Woods Glint, how you doing bud? You joined the Discord there the other day, right? Hope you're doing well. So, let's go into bomb mode. I don't know how the targeting works for these. I hope no one else is parked near this because... I'm just gonna drop a bomb and... Oh, there is someone parked there. God damn it. I am not bad now. <laughs> Yesterday was terrible. Um, we work from a server. Oh, there was the bomb site. Oh, there it was. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. Bartonex, I need to drop a bomb. Games, this is Star Citizen. I'm about to drop a bomb. There she goes. Go down. Go down and explode, please. Oh yes, there's there's a targeting device, right? Oh, you've not heard of Star Citizen? Okay. Um, I missed. <clears throat> Try that again.
Come on. We got an award, so we killed somebody. <laughs> right, we'll have to go out and do it the old-fashioned way, I think. I'd love to know where it hit. I think it hit the ridge at the back. Get rid of chat there. Is there anyone on the ground around there? It doesn't look like it. Cutlass. I don't know how this is going to be in a dogfight. Let's find out. I've never actually used M5As either, so I hope they're good. Also, I should probably let him land, right? Attack on yeah, but he uses land there. Don't worry about me. You don't worry about me at all. Oh, I missed. Okay, I have locked on. And now I need just to get it right. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where that went. Bombs are a little bit iffy. Ooh, that was a direct hit. <laughs> Who are you shooting at? I don't want gimbal on. Oh, there we go. Nice direct bomb hit. And it did blacken the area, right? Or... At least I think it did. Alright, let's uh, set her down. So there's not going to be any more reinforcements for the moment. Yeah, what's good? If you haven't seen Saracen, it's um, it's a buggy mess, and I would advise not. Maybe you could get it if you want, if you really wanted to, but very wide. And we just hit a body. Where am I gonna put this? I need so I need to put this somewhere there that the ramp is gonna be okay. I don't think I can park down here at all. Is that back all right? You can see the, the landing here is very um well they're not exactly Tilted. She's a bit of a big girl. Let's see how this ramp handles that. Turn off the engines, we'll leave the power on, just in case. Yes, yeah, Darcy isn't very ambitious. Um, about all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> it's very ambitious. 
Oh. Someone else has so someone has killed one of our other targets because we just got paid 15 grand. Yeah. How far off the ground are you? And am I gonna be able to get back in? Ooh. I don't know about that one. Let's uh move the ship a little bit with the ramp down. Yeah, we can see that we've dropped four bombs. I think that's going to cost us about 20 grand. I think if I inch forward a bit. You can see then with the spirit when you land it actually uh, drops a little warning grid where the, the bay is going to open. Which is kind of cool. Especially if you have people standing around your ship. And that might do. Very ambitious project. Absolutely frustrating at points. But uh you have your full you're gonna have like full FPS in it. And of course spaceships. Uh, we'll leave that open because as you can see we're not actually on the ground everywhere. And I don't want the model to spaz out. I do actually like the shooting mechanics in the game so far. Cover landing, yeah. I could have done that, but again, I... I've played the game long enough <laughs> to know that's a bad idea. Yeah, so we're just going to go shoot this guy and get paid a lot of money. We could have literally just walked in here, shot this guy and walked out. to you too. Right, well. That was the mission objective. So I could have actually shot him from the ship if the ship could have got an angle. But with this ship being a bit bigger, it's a little bit tougher to do. I'm going to loot you. We're going to take your med pen and your ammo. They've gone straight onto our open slots in our body. And then we're going to leave. <laughs> Go drop another bomb. I'd imagine uh, the Spartan guy is doing the same thing. That's why we got credit for that other mission. So we'll close up that ramp. There are little subsystems here on this. So on auxiliary mode and emergency override. We are literally doing bounty hunting missions right now. Uh, I'll get into orbit here. And uh, we'll go through the missions because I'm going to take a few more. This is just how I like to play the game. I like to do these missions. There are other ways to make more money quicker and stuff. There's mining, there's trading, there's all that good stuff. I have my bombs equipped. I don't want that in case I misclick. Oh yeah, look, if they, if they get things actually working <coughs> fully, it's going to be fantastic. Like, when it, when everything works, it is a fantastic game. Even the fact that we're here on a moon, and I'm literally just going to fly up into space, and fly directly to another moon. There's the sun at the center of this solar system. Beautiful game. <coughs> It's a beautiful game, but yeah, you just need to get everything working. Some patches are fantastic, some patches completely break the game. 
<clears throat> oh god. Yeah, so there's a uh, there's severe flooding in some areas in Ireland here, and uh, the server that we use at work was affected by that. So I have about a 140 kilometer commute to work. Went up Friday night. Was told, well, we can't actually do anything. We'll have to come back Saturday morning. So we did about 14 hours there yesterday, trying to get everything sorted. So that was fun. So hit F1, you can bring up your Moby Glass. We have 700,000. I bought a bunch of crap. Um, if we were on a station and these ships were on the station with us, but in storage, we could mess around with their setup and paints and all that kind of stuff. You can access the same thing. The current star map, which they have shown the new version, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Even this is better because the icons actually have, or the areas actually have icons now, which is that's already so much better than it was, even though it's still crap. So we're over in Aberdeen. Most planets have three moons at the moment. You can zoom in on the planet. And like we can fly directly to any of these points at any time. Uh, we'll set in a course for Everest. For some reason, the focus on the Moby Glass has been weird lately. I don't know. Can go to our contracts manager and as you can see there are a bunch of things we can do so these are all technically the legal ones there are these ones here that can be a little bit suspicious so you kind of look at who is giving them so nine tails are a pirate group and they're asking you to do illegal stuff but they pay more so if you have no problem with that and go ahead because in the bounty hunter section you can get, uh, oh, you have to go to Microtech for this one. God damn it. You can get contracts to hunt players. So there you go. There's Skegox is a person that has a crime stat. So he can now be hunted. Um, clear claim jumpers, halt illegal. Don't care about any of that. This one. I'll accept it. We probably won't do it today, but we'll accept it. Yeah, like just maintenance where you have to collect some stuff and get rid of it. Salvage, which is one of the newer mechanics in the game. There's like hull stripping and stuff. There's racing events. There's find missing crew. You just kind of go to a site and find them. And then there's service beacons. That's 38 million kilometers away. That's 38. So they're both over on Microtech. These are some quick kind of... I don't know if they're procedural. I think they are just procedural missions that'll pop up every now and then. You can do them and you'll be able to build your rep with them. Uh, tracker training, permit certification. No, I don't want that. I want to do the other warrant. This one. Authorized execution warrant. It pays 15,000 credits. Yes, te technically, as long as it's mechanic is working you can do many things to make money <laughs> put it that way I need to clear that route now but we're not going there we're going to Magda I really like the ship I'm definitely going to be saving up for modules So this is the, you know, <laughs> the kind of thing they expect. I'm loving these missions on the moons because they're always close to a, a warp point and like they pay good money. Sometimes the target will stand, stand outside as well. So you can literally just fly up, shoot them and leave. We do have our hydration and food in the bottom there. 
So there is a full survival system, hot and cold, all that kind of stuff. All your armors have different ratings. And you've got to keep an eye on that. So actually when you're wearing armor, your hydration will go down faster because you'll be hot if you're running around and stuff. Like there's a lot of little things in the game already. It's going to be cool when it's all done. And I keep hitting C because that was my binding. It's not lawn dart into the ground. <laughs> you can see we're reading out there with the G's. Is this person actually standing outside? There's no way they're standing there, right? No, just giving us a general... A general waypoint. But they've spawned in. <laughs> Again, we can literally just run them down from here. And I took a contract called, called Arms. Which means we get paid a bounty on all pirates. And of course these are pirates, so we get 500 credits for one of them killed. It was a bug a couple of patches ago that they would infinitely spawn on these missions. You could imagine having the bomb there. You could just sit there and farm it as long as your computer could handle it and <laughs> the server could handle it. Of course, the servers are the biggest issue. But we are going to land for that one. He's going to be annoying to kill. We are going to make doubly sure that everyone else is dead so that we don't get shot. Like that guy. Because of the servers, the AI isn't great. If you get a good FPS on the server, I do mean server FPS. Ooh, are they um, converging? They are. Right, there we go. Okay, where can we land? We can probably land over there. The problem is if they get reinforcements, it's gonna be a decent bit away from us. Where can I put this that I can just get to it? That is going to be the area. And even that's not great. Oh, is the right click menu not working? Oh, that sucks. I want to open my doors. Never mind. Open exterior. I, I need to hockey that. I need to hockey everything again, but it is what it is. Again, that should be good. Turn off the engines, keep the shields on. Not very heavily shielded. That's that's the drawback. With dog fighting, it's a big target and it's not very heavily shielded. Could you open the door? And actually what I want to do is take sight off one of the enemy guns. But we're gonna <clears throat> keep a listen out for some engines. Because if a reinforcement ship comes in, it will target ours. And I want to get back to it as quickly as possible then. And we have a storm. As you can see at the moment it's minus 16 degrees here, which is not bad. 
I believe Aberdeen is plus 200, so you have like a couple of minutes of survival. I am actually wearing some of the enemy armor, so hopefully a player doesn't come in and shoot me. Oh, there's more of them. Beautiful. Oh. Fireworks show, yeah. Don't shoot me. I'm being blown down the hill. Dude. You asshole. Mm. He knew I was a player. You prick. Rip, yeah. I know who that was. Not very kind of them. Eh, it is what it is. It won't tell me the name. Tell me the damn name. It's showing me the details on the top, but it won't tell me the name. That's an eye. It won't tell me the name. Well, that's fine. We are, yeah, a good bit away, but we are on Seraphim Station. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Stand, your vehicle has been to the Hangar 3. Gonna take my stealth tomcat. Uh, another bug. <laughs> it's spawning in with the wings out, and you'll see then that when we try to take off, it'll uh, put the wings in. Luckily, we have a death marker, so it's not too bad. I know exactly where it is. As you can see, our death marker is moving because the planets are moving. I believe. I believe they're moving, right? You are clear to launch. Oh, it's doing this thing again. There it is. Weird, we were stuck to the the pad. I 
Thank you. And please visit again. Right, we are going to head to Hurston. Collect it on the map, gets rid of all the other noise. Oh, my ship is still there, I don't mind. That would be the annoying part. Um. Alt Arms is abandoned because I died. Couldn't be. Yeah, it's still there. That's fine. Right, we'll fly back. I want to know who it was. They're in an orange freelancer, which is the like cargo variant. care about any of that. I want to know who shot me and it wouldn't give me their name. Because I'm vengeful. Of course, my ship is on. Yeah. This being a fighter, it doesn't have the, mo the best uh, quantum drive. I could have just claimed my ship back, but uh, let's see if we can retrieve all my gear. I don't do much PvP. But I will shoot this guy if he's still there.
Alright, bit of a cool down after that. We still have the mission marker there, so your man hasn't killed the target. But do I? I don't have a marker for my ship, though, so I think he took my ship. In that case, I'll just claim it back. Ship is there. This dude left, though. body. Did he have a different target then? I kind of want to put the M... Uh, sorry, not the M5s. I want to put the Panthers on to Spirit. Kill that guy, another guy right there. Direct hit. Yeah, ship is hilarious, that's great. And my body is right there. Has it been looted? No. Any other AI after spawning in that I have to deal with? Don't see any. I just don't want to get shot while I'm looting. He's being blown around by our engines, probably. That can happen. Bear in mind that ballistics have a pass through on shields, so those guys can kill you. Yeah, the persistent entity Streaming is something that they're still integrating, but they've kind of brought in the first part of it. It used to be that your bodies would, uh, you know, pass through the planet or disappear. There was a lot of there was a lot of bugs, but uh, it's been a lot better. So now um, you can actually earn money through wipes and uh, you know build up a fund. So he was trying to shoot in through the side here, which I can do because I'm better. Don't usually say stuff like that, but true. So cool. There's that objective complete. Also, I'm salty. And to be honest, anyone that comes along can have the saber.
Watch me get shot straight away. <laughs> yeah, dude just left. All right, let's put on all my gear. Oh, I can't put on the helmet, that's right. So throw that in there. Hey, me. Where's my gun? I have a pistol, but where's my goddamn gun? Fine, we killed a few guys, we can take one of theirs. That one in particular. Stop it. Group that. It's actually what I was gonna do anyway was grab one of these for the uh, the site. Just instead of having to go back to the uh, station. But we're good now. Let's go back into the spirit. Be like, ah, well, it was. People were used to it, you know? It was the way the game was for years. So it was kind of annoying, but everyone was used to it. Now, with the persistent entity stream, anytime anything gets deleted, people are up in arms. Like, this game is going to have a thousand solar systems or something like that. And this is the first one, you know, it's still early days. Even though it's 10 years in. A lot of solar systems, yeah. There's scope creep is a huge problem for this game. Did I leave that open? Luckily, there's nowhere for someone to hide on the ship. <laughs> but we're back. Oh, yes. That's what I love about this game. I don't love is that my engines are booked again and it's not letting me lift off. It's giving me zero thrust. So turn them off. Engines off. Turn them back engines on again. On. There we go. Fixes everything. Landing gear up. Maki, how are you doing? Here, let's um, let's do a multi-drop. Let's prep four bombs and do a, a scraping run. Oh, 
Uh oh. That's going to give us a little bit more control over where they land. Oh, we didn't see the explosion? Like someone throwing them out of the middle of the world. Pretty much. It's pretty much exactly what it is. Because uh, that's our bomb bay. Alright, what we can do then um, is. How far away are you? Oh, yeah, we'll go here. It looked cool anyway. We actually um, blew up a, a ship with a bomb earlier. Because I was able to get the targeting right. Which is always nice. Can we spawn land vehicles here? Looks like yes, but it's uh yeah, I guess we can. How is my gear out or in? It is out. Okay, I actually had the dampeners off there, so I was very lucky I didn't slam into the planet. Look at that though, look at that. Looks so good. I do have to say the game has actually been working pretty well today. Fingers crossed that lasts. The fact that we got killed by someone and was able to come back and get all our stuff back was, was pretty good. You can see how low that landing gear is. Let's zoom in a bit like this. Look at the detail. That's our bomb bay. We go forward. There's our missile bay. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, can we get serviced here? 45,000 for a full bomb load and two missiles. Not that bad. They do make some... Yes, they do. That, the fidelity is fantastic in this game. It's the one thing you, you've got to give it. Like, to be fair, the fidelity and the fact that it's running at... Well, anything. All our bombs are back. Nice. I did see, I watched Ollie's video and he, he got the Fury in here. I do own a Fury. Just close that up. I like that. That's a good touch. The turret is still active there, which is fine. Oh, I never changed my helmet. Oh, well, it doesn't matter.
Yeah, what's that? Um, show you something else. Oh, someone else did spawn a vehicle here. Look, it's a little buggy over there. But I'm gonna spawn something bigger than a buggy. There are ground vehicles. Did you hear that? I heard that. Vehicles for every occasion? Oh yeah. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Hmm, what will I spawn? Let's spawn. Vehicles, your vehicles visit us again. Goodbye. Nova. someone here I'm sure I heard a voice when I was coming up to that but yeah this this is the Nova basically a, a future leopard again you know detail on the interiors is insane uh, so we've got like the remote turret there. Oh, sorry, the turret there, but we can enter it from here. Sure, it's going to let me power up any second now. There we go. We've played around with this before, used it for a mission, a lot of fun. And like the thing about these vehicles is they can, if they if they physically fit into a ship, you can put them in the ship, take them with you, drop them off and you use them, which is always cool. And of course they're multi-group. Out in the storm. Yeah, we'll leave that there for anyone that wants it. Who knows? Then, of course, all of these outposts do have a, a trade station. I believe it's in the one with the orange, this red thing. So you can do trading. Trading isn't super advanced at the moment, but uh, yeah, you can come in and uh, buy stuff here. What's he selling? Anyway, yeah, normally would be selling that stuff. That's an engine.
Oh, they're not my engine, I don't care. There is loot in those places as well if you want to pick it up. There's some crates hanging around. Yeah, the, the Spirit is a sexy looking ship. Definitely going to be my daily runner until the, the standard variant comes out. So I, I upgraded my Gladius to this, basically, because I, I never used the Gladius, because I have the saber. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And I've been waiting for this one to come out anyway. Well, what I'll probably do is... Uh, Claim the saber back. And uh, mess around with the, the guns on this. I wonder if the Panthers will work well on this. I think at some point they want players to be able to build their own outposts, which would be kind of nuts. Broken out. Broken out. Is it rolling? I don't want to get too close. There's a large blast radius on this. I don't. I really don't want to get too close to it. <laughs> There it is. Let's just drop one from here. Yeah, that hitching, man. I wasn't there earlier. I wonder, is it because this is low gravity? Uh, I can move like away from the ship a bit. take their time getting there. Very satisfying. Oh, I've messed up the, the view here now. One sec. So we have the mission. Let's go 
go to Microtech. Not a huge fan of going to Microtech from here just because it's it's a long way away. This thing has a decent fuel tank then. It's kind of what I wanted to see. Um, that's 38 million, I guess. It's not the worst. I'm going to see how long this takes and how it does on fuel to Microtech. short jump. I set root and it gave you gave me this. Let's do that again. Jumping us back to where we were. <laughs> Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. I'd say stars never change, but never do. It's not liking um, quantum lately. I wonder what it's loading that it's so bad in quantum lately. As you can see, like the server FPS here is bouncing between three and five, which means AI targets are not going to be the most difficult thing in ground combat. Landing gear, shields, power, the engine, weapons, we have uh, VTOL as well. We can lock and unlock the doors. You need two displays. To guess is all you need right now for this. A third one would be nice in the center maybe. Yeah, let me let me see if this is gonna work for me today. Hold on. Nope. Uh, my track IR or Toby, I've Toby eye tracker, but it's not a uh, set up properly at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For mo most of most of the um, cockpits are interactable. You can hold down F to go into this mode. So it, it's cool, you know. Yeah, the game is trying to do a lot. This is not a bad quantum trip. That is not a lot of... So you saw the Sabre traveling from Hurston... Or from Crusader to Hurston, which is about 32 million. Used most of its tank of quantum fuel. We're nearly at Microtech, and I would say faster. I don't know why I'd have to look at the stats. But we've used maybe a fifth of our tank. Like, if the if the standard variant has a better quantum drive, that's going to be huge. That's, that's not bad, I don't mind that. If I was to try to do that in the Sabre, I would have to jump to uh, one of the stations in between. Like, I'd probably have to jump to Crusader L3 or something to get to Microtech from Hurston with the Sabre. Well, probably Hurston L4. 
Um, okay, we have a mission here. All the way over there. A thousand kilometers away. Are you going to be obstructed? You are, aren't you? Yes. So we're going to jump there. I actually haven't done anything on Microtech in a while, so it would be nice to hang out around here for a little while. We are going to go over to X4 and do a big long run through all of the ship models. As I said I would, and uh, I didn't get to do it yesterday. How far are we? 500. Ooh, can we get closer? 8,000. Near 1,000. 2,000. So let's try and get a little bit closer by doing the thing. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel. out the top speed is 1119 meters a second are we burning up on entry nice i'm looking forward to when they put in like uh scouring for that that'll be cool Curious how well you can see that from the ground. I've never actually uh, tested that. Microtech is a proper atmosphere, so you're going to have this. Of course, on the moons, it's not going to be as noticeable. Some of the moons you can get down to the surface to still do nearly a kilometer a second. Well, we're 130 odd out. Won't be too long. Literally two minutes. I can't boost get any faster. You can hear the quantum sound in the background because we uh, canceled the quantum so early. That happens. And that's going to stick around. Connected to the ship now. I presume that this little blue light here is that to represent this being projected up on the, the hood or something? I was trying to figure it out when I first got in the ship. I was like, oh god, is there a missile coming at me or something? I'm just thinking you could bomb the turrets at bunkers. Wonder how effective that is. Jump town is gonna to be crazy with this. Imagine a wing of these coming in dropping bombs. Instead of having just the, the Hercules coming in with the nuke. There is a nuke in the game.
but more like a daisy cutter kind of thing, you know? Moab. Um, there were five kilometers above the surface. I don't want to... I would like to see the surface. This is a storm. Wait, are we upside down? We're upside down. That was going to be dangerous. Like Mandalore in the series, pretty much, yeah. Because sometimes there are storm systems that go through the planet, the fog will be pretty low. And I have run into the ground before. I don't like it. Wait. Oh, now I'm upside down. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> That's how confused I got. Oh yeah, that's right, we're on a mission. What are you in an eclipse? The other bomber. The other guy's in an M50, oh no. Super maneuverable ship against us and a big bomber. Back here. Me being bad doesn't help. But the M50 is not the most fun thing to have to shoot at. A ship that's about 10 times its size. Especially when the servers are being like that, because of course Citizen Con is on. Uh, two of my guns are not recharging. Awesome. Chin guns are not recharging. Why is that? Shields off. That was the wrong button. <laughs> on. on, explode. They're back. God, he's taking hits. Ugh. You're close. He lost both his wings. Pretty much. He's a mess. Fight is interesting. Yeah, um, that wasn't a great one, but that, like you can see the 
servers. Having an absolute fit. The cool thing though, again, with the persistent uh, entity streaming is that... Whereas before, when the wrecks would disappear, they don't anymore. So once he stops spinning... There's the M50 actually right there. Uh, let's go over to the M50. It's probably more intact. And there's an, a point of interest because these the uh, missions are usually a, around a point of interest. Have I landed on a tree or something? Yes, I actually have landed on a tree. Indestructible trees. Mecha Warrior 5 would be proud. Yeah, that quantum sound is just... I have to live with it. Door. So slow. This one's better, usually. You can see that we dropped two of our bombs. The Lorax. What is that from? No, sorry. I've heard the name. I don't want to get too close to this because it's still bobbing around. This is the M50 that we just shot down. The Eclipse is way over there. And uh, yeah, you can see the size difference. The next question is, where's the pilot? And I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting any closer to that. Do I have... No, I don't have a multi-tool on me. If I'd been smart and brought a multi-tool, I could strip the hull off that ship. You can see there it has basically a full hull. A little bit of damage over here. Oh, there's the pilot. You ever want to get one of these helmets? Oh, we should actually be able to do this. Yeah, there we go. Ah. The atmosphere is breathable on Microtech. He's dead, Jim. Yeah. I say that so many times through my playthroughs and I always wonder, do people get it? Oh, it's from the movie The Lorax. Okay, I gotcha. I haven't watched movies in a while. I'll leave that door open. Oh, they open as a pair. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Because I'm feeling lazy, I'm not going to walk over to the Eclipse. So the Eclipse is a torpedo bomber. You can actually see the torpedo is right there. Look at that stance, though. It's just lovely. Great design. Love it. It's like half Normandy, half... I don't know.
This is a good example of what the ship would look like after stripping the hull. And as I said, uh, the torpedo is actually in the bay there. So if I had a large storage area, um, well actually I could probably fit it in the storage area I have. There it is. There's actually a couple of them in there. I could take those use a tractor beam and put them in the back of the ship take them back to the station and sell them or use them on a ship that can use them which is cool the more the salvaging mechanic they bring in the better it's going to be World looks a little like Space Engineers. Eh, kinda, yeah. Uh, we'll head over to the city here now in a second. Where my FPS will probably cut in half again. See the wingtips there is the VTOL mode. Cool. You can see all the thrusters and everything. Yeah, man, you've got to give credit to the designers on the modeling and I just turned off that again also sound design sound if that's the right word to describe it is that Bangini oh the jump points are in yes that's right the jump points are in I'm probably gonna be back on Star Citizen tonight and I might go over to a jump point and have a look at it again I've watched a video on it but I want to go see it myself that must be another one then, is it? Yeah. The Terra jump point. Okay, we, we were actually falling out of the sky there and I was just checking. Um, where the hell is that place? Let's head over to New Babbage. always reminds me of Stargate Atlantis. Yeah, there's a spaceport over to the left. But we're going to fly in through the city. Because we can. <laughs> I 
may not hit any building. I don't think there's any restricted zones in here, but I could be very, very wrong and we'll get shot down. If you see uh, my car getting jumping between a bunch of things, it's because um, my Toby is still tracking my eyes for targeting, which is a cool little feature. I just don't have the, the head tracking on at the moment. ships spawned here. Two green ships. What are the green ships? They're not like two of the spirits. So, um, I actually spawned here to start. But the ship was having an issue. And I think that is actually what this is, isn't it? This is a ship graveyard of things that didn't spawn in the right place. So, uh, ships were spawning above the hangars. So I took the saber up to the station to get past that. Oh, it was just yeah. There's why is that green? I haven't seen green ones before. And it looks to be mainly spirits, is it? Yeah. Which is why I'm not talking there actually. mysterious in the night yeah it was full of day night cycles which is awesome city does look cool i can't wait for some optimization but like, that's a while away but anyway let's go back into space you like some of the others. Yeah, probably, probably going to come back and do some late night star citizen because uh, I didn't get to do it yesterday at all so we'll do x4 now in a minute
<laughs> I don't do this now. Wait a minute. So the bed is bugged. Nobody panic. That's why I turned off the engines. <laughs> I did leave it in a little bit of a spin, but I turned off the engines, just in case. There's no chance of it moving away. We'll try it one more time. It's probably not going to work, but we'll try it one more time. See, like, uh, I could put stuff in here as well. Let's just move everything over there, right? But if I have to claim the ship, that gets lost. So, let's try sitting down first. Okay, we can sit down, no problem. And let's try lying down. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. And... Let me log out. 